What's the crack, lads? It's Monday morning. We're back with some Madrid legends. We also have the big time Inter Milan pack as well, which we'll get to in a couple of minutes. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Van Nistelrooy, Luis Garcia and Zamorano. Let's crack on and see if they're any good. Right, so we're going to check out Van Nistelrooy first. I think he... Be honest, lads, look. I will leave it up to you guys. I don't know with the live stream later whether I'll spin for these. these this is kind of, in my opinion a little bit of a bust of a pack uh, in terms of what you're getting here, right? You've got a Fox in the Box Van Nistelrooy, which I know a lot of people are polarized on their thoughts with a Fox in the Box. He's got his booster here, which is going to boost up his finishing and ball control, but his speed and acceleration and balance are a killer on this card, especially for where the game is at at the moment. Now, Van Nistelrooy is Van Nistelrooy. Of course, obviously, if you want to play with one of your favorite legends, it is, it is a beastly uh, card just to have it for nostalgic reasons, but I feel like at this stage in the game, you really should only be spinning if you don't have a top class center forward or if you are looking to just do something a little bit different. I mean, if this this is kind of a very personal thing as well, lads, because if this was another version of Collar, I'd probably go for him. And I do think that Van Nistelrooy would be a good player, but he's just missing a couple of bits and pieces. Like He has first time shot on one touch pass, but that's pretty much it. I mean, rising shot, chip shot control and heading are just kind of standard. Acrobatic finishing is nice. And he does have penalty specialists, but it is that balance and that tight possession that even his physical contact with the boost that it gets, it doesn't really do it, in my opinion. It doesn't really do it for me. I mean, when you take a look at his actual uh, ability here and his stats, um, this is kind of what you're rocking with. So you'll be able to max out his offensive awareness and get 95 finishing with the manager boost and with his booster boost. Obviously, these are just his base level stats because you'll be getting a plus four to finish in. And of course, you'll be getting plus four to physical contact, which will bring it up to the 86 mark. But he's not strong enough to be like, you know, a real bully up front. He's not fast enough or his possession, you know, his tight possession and his ball control is lacking severely for the type of player if you are used to using a run and gun focal point, you know. So you can't really compare this guy to, to anybody really unless you were using a target man for all along. So it is kind of a difficult difficult one to talk about um, because I just feel like it it's so dependent. Some players you can just fit into any system. But in this row, you're going to have to fit the system around him and the tactics around him. So it's... It is a bit of a, a weird one. We also have, just before we move on to the other two legends, I think out of all these players, I'm not even going to really go into them, lads. I mean, we've had so many versions of these cards and different types of cards and the GP variants, Joe Felix. We've also had Aspas a few times. Rodrigo, I think, is the pick of them, and I'm going to show you why. So straight off the rip, he is going to have ball roll with double touch, flip flap, and soul control. You won't need to actually throw anything on him. True passing and super sub is quite decent as well as first time shot, which I do like. And Rodrigo is just so silky on the ball. This is kind of like a Romario S type mover on the ball, which is where the meta is at the moment. If you're just playing for fun, of course, you can use any player like Van Roy or Collar or, you know, Giroud up front or, or any of those cards. Uh, but if you are looking to give yourself the edge, I do definitely think Rodrigo is a beastly left or right uh, Roman flank winger. I do really like this card. It's one of the best cards of him that they've released in a while. He can't play CF, which is a bit of a pity, but you should have free Neymar for that. So moving on to Luis Garcia. Garcia is going to be a player that with the max booster is going to give a boost to his dribbling, his tight possession, his speed and his balance. So that's going to change how we, you know, how we kind of train him up a little bit. Um, but I do still feel like that there is a couple of issues with this card. Most notably, I think with this card, you're going to have to make a decision very early whether you want a winger such as like Rodrigo that can cut in and shoot or else you just want a pure ball carry. And that's the, that's the plus two uh, booster that he does get. And he does exactly what he says on the tin. A ball carrying kind of like speedy cover all areas kind of like you know not really the best passer or shooter but kind of a mixture of just covering the grass and being able to kind of you know get really good counter attacks double touch and soul control you can add flip flap to him if you spin it as a free skill with your skill trainers and you can get ball roll on him one touch pass true pass and outside corner on first time shot is always nice and i do like the fact that he has gamesmanship as well i do think that he will need ball roll just because of the way he moves and his motion style i'm going to do a video soon on the different motion styles that players have there's about four of them and that might answer a lot of questions as to why some people like myself are struggling with Rafael Leao compared to Romario and that kind of debate is going on but this is the build that we've gone for for Luis Garcia again I'm not going to spend too much time on these players lads I, I think that this is a nostalgic driven pack 
if you are a fan of the player or you just want something a bit different i don't think that they really compare to you know the other legends that have been released but it's a nice card i mean you're going to get with the booster here is tie position at 90 with the manager boost and his booster and of course you're going to have ball control and dribbling all over 90 as well as acceleration his speed and balance won't be over 90. That's a little bit of a concern compared to where, you know, other cards can get it. But it is a nice card, man, especially if you give him flip-flop. And then also, last but not least, we have Zamorano. Now, I feel like this card is going to be love it or hate it. I mean, I've already talked to a few people um, that were saying that he's an absolute beast. Um, and I will be covering it in the live stream later. I mean, if you guys... Listen, I would like to spin for Zamorano, but if I could spin and get him in 3,000 coins to test him out, I would. Um... But let's see. Let's see what happens, man. I will see later on in the stream. This is kind of his base card here. And it is actually quite a decent card with the boosters. So he does get the aerial plus two. I would have preferred his acceleration or his balance to get a bit of a boost. Because that's going to be what ultimately I think kills this card. Even though he's got a wavering form, B rating, everything looks good there. His lack of player skills is a little bit of a concern. But he does have acrobatic finishing and aerial superiority. And of course, he does have first time shot, heading, chip shot control and rising shot. He doesn't have outside curler. He doesn't have a long range curler, which are two of the kind of like strong ones that you would possibly need. But yeah, I mean, definitely he's not a run and gun. He's more of kind of like a deadly finisher type player. And as I said, I think you're either going to love him or hate him. I know people that will literally sign him and he will bang in a goal a game, kind of like Diego Forlan. But would you start Zamorano ahead of Romario or Mike Lone or Samuel Eto'o? or David Villa, or Shevchenko, or Mbappe, or any of those guys that I can just continue to name. So uh, there is the build that we've gone for with him as well. Six into shooting, eight into dribbling, 14 into dexterity. That's mainly to get his balance up and to max out his offensive or attacking awareness, and to get his acceleration up to the 90 mark as well, to have him just an absolute beast in the box. If he gets the ball in the box, boys, you're going to have 90 finishing, and you're going to have that heading and uh, jump quite nice as well, even though he's not the tallest player in the world. But yeah, I definitely think that there, there's a lot to be there's a lot to be left to be desired with this card. I mean, it's it's I think a lot of the legends now there's a wider debate to be had there, and we'll have it on the stream. Um, I I think there's a wider debate about the cards now as to like you know the reasoning for signing some of these cards. Uh, I mean, if you are looking to get Van Nistelrooy, there is so many GP alternatives that can be as ninety percent, if not ninety five percent, as good as him, and that's for just starting the game right now as a newcomer. If you've been playing the game for a while, literally every card you see here, you will probably have a better version or a very very similar version that will go about ninety percent of the way towards what the cards are on offer at the moment. It's different with the likes of a Mario, or it's different with the likes of a big time Araujo or somebody like that. We will cover the big time Inter pack, which again is a little bit disappointing, but. Let me know your thoughts on this, lads. Is this an easy spin or an easy skip for you? Is it a cheeky spin or two and then hope you get Van Nistelrooy or Garcia or Zamorano and then dip? Or what are you guys thinking? I will be back later on streaming. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. We will see you in the live stream in about three hours time. Until then, peace.